Hi, it's Wanda from Alanda Craft, and this is our Quilting Blocks channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to make these really quick and easy 3D bow tie quilt blocks. So let's get started. So what you're going to need to make this block are five five inch squares. Now you can use a charm pack, but in this case I've cut five squares out of some material that I have on hand. You'll need three for the bow tie and two for the background. Now in this case I'm making the bow tie all in one colour. But you can, if you wish, make the bow tie with a contrasting piece in the middle. So in that case you'll need one contrasting piece instead of all the same colour. So let's get on and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the middle piece of our bow tie and we're just going to fold it so that the wrong sides are together. So there we go, you can see I have the right side facing me. I'm going to take this piece of fabric that also belongs to the bow tie and I'm just going to lay it over my folded piece. And I'll just turn it over so you can see what, what I've done. So just make sure that these line up and the top lines up. Now I'm going to take one of the background pieces and I'm just going to lay that on top of the folded piece as well. So what I'll end up with is these two pieces here, a piece for the tie and a piece for the background, and I'm going to have this piece in the middle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way just down that one side. So I'll do that now. Okay, so we've done that, and this is what we end up with. We have our backing piece, the piece of our tie, and then our folded piece in the middle. So I'm just going to fold those out of the way, those two pieces. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the backing piece on the top. Remember last time we put the tie piece on the top. And the other piece of the tie we're going to put on the bottom. So we're just sandwiching that all together again. So there's our folded piece. So just make sure that they're all nicely lined up on the sides and the top. And then we're going to go and we're going to sew down here a quarter of an inch. Okay, so what we've ended up with is this rather funny looking piece of material. So what we're going to do now is just lay it all out flat. So we'll do that. Okay, and you're going to end up with that bulge in the middle where the folded piece is. So we're just going to pop our finger into the folded piece and pull those pieces aside and just keep pulling until our seams sit together. Okay, so then we're just going to put a pin in there just to keep it. Now just lift up this piece. Now you can see here I've got my fold and it has a tendency to want to fold in on itself so you just need to pop your finger in there and push that out because we don't want to sew over that fold, we want that flat. So I'll just flatten it down and then place these other pieces over it and pin. Now what's going to happen on the other side is it's going to definitely want to fold in and you're going to have some a little bit of trouble there trying to keep that to sit flat without getting a fold but we'll adjust it as we sew so as we sew up to the seam line we'll stop leave the needle in and just come in and readjust this to make sure we're not catching any of that folded piece in okay but I will pin it in the meantime all right so what we're going to do is we're going to sew along here with a quarter inch seam stop here and just readjust and make sure that everything's sitting nice and flat on the other side and then we'll just sew to the end. Okay so I'm using a quarter inch seam and I'm going to sew up until I get to the seam line. I'm making sure catching everything in. Now just make sure that this is now still flat so just open it and flatten it out because you can now pull it through a little bit more from the other side just to make sure that it flattens okay there we go okay. right. and just continue sewing now to the end So how easy and simple was that? Apart from that little bit in the middle, nothing to it. So that's what it looks like. Isn't it awesome? Now this is a 3D block and you can leave it as a 3D block 
um, you can see there it stand, the middle stands out from the rest of it. But if you just give it all a light press, so you just press the seams how they want to go, that's all you need to do. Don't press it too heavy, otherwise you'll lose this effect, unless you want it to be flat, which is okay. So there we go. How easy was that? Now if you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great tutorials.